one and all to your weekly peace report. This is the Peace Dealer, and I hope you're ready for what will be one of the strangest weeks that you've had in a long time. We're going to have a ridiculously divine stellium in Pisces, and for a small, short week, whatever it is that you imagine will take form. It won't take form indefinitely, but this is a good week to show you the magic potential of your consciousness. It's also a good week to just throw everything away and abandon and live your own fantasy world for a week, Pisces. Only a week. I'm talking to you. You too, Sagittarius. So really keep this in mind because there is going to be such a disassociative element to which you observe everything that occurs this week, to which you don't want to take things too personally. We have Chiron in the sign, so people's insecurities and vulnerabilities will bleed to the surface. And if you can match them with yours, it can make for some intimate moments. This is not a good week to get all in your ego because this Piscean vibration will humble you dearly. <laughs> With that being said, we are going to have the Sun, Venus, Neptune, Mercury, Chiron, all partying in Pisces. And I think the only dangerous thing about this is it will be squaring Mars and Sagittarius. So people are just not going to know what they're doing. Sagittarius, I'm talking to you. I'm just joking. People are just not going to know what they're doing. And, and it's not that they're not going to know. Because what we're starting this week off is a Mercury-Sun conjunction at 28, 29 degrees. In fact, I mean, this is for Saturday. So yeah, Sunday we'll, we'll have the 29 degree conjunction. So you're going to step into this madness with clear knowledge about yourself. That should be your light moving through. If you ever want to doubt that knowledge you receive, this is what's going to get you lost. So there's a few types of people here, and we're just going to talk about two. The first type of person is those of you who start the week off with your epiphany and then you go through the twilight zone of Pisces season this week with that knowledge. Then there's another type of person who will let doubt and fear make them lose that light and then you're just going to be lost in the darkness and you're not going to see the light again until Aries season so you or until the moons in Aries at least. So you don't necessarily want to be that person who doubts the knowledge that you gain because it will contradict a lot of what you might have known to be true. Later, you might find out it's not as true as you thought. So really keep this in mind. This is a week that you want to spend as much time in creative visualization as you can because you can imagine near new concepts. But most importantly, this will usher in the beginning of this new arc in dreamy ways that will immediately start manifesting your dreams. As such, make sure the mindset you have all week is a mindset in which your heart is constantly wishing. Wish your way forward because every single thing that you spend this week wishing for and dreaming up, you will manifest a level of six months from now. In Virgo season, quote me on that, quote me on that, all right? And I'm not even saying the type of thing where you have to necessarily take immediate action. Just wish it. You'll be taking action in Gemini season, but just wish it for now. A wish is an intent without a goal or a plan. You don't need a plan. This is not Capricorn season. Just, you know, sip some wine, smoke some weed, and wish. And you don't have to smoke some weed or sip some wine. You can listen to Beatles if that's what gets you in an altered state. The main purpose of this week is to start to incorporate an altered state of your consciousness in everything you do. Because what did I say? Since Sagittarius season, you've been awakening supernatural awareness. And this is the week we slip into the divine car wash, baby. It's a divine galactic car wash. And your energy is going to be cleared with all this energy that's coming with Chiron, and you're going to be draining a whole lot of what, of the negativity releasing from the old arc as you finally get to understand the experience of certain facets of magical abilities that have been budding recently 
especially if you have a Pluto Scorpio, and that you've always had since birth. That being said, I'm not going to make this report too long, but I'm going to change up the way I do these reports. You know the Peas Dealer is a fine channel. Okay, so why not get first-hand advice from the planets themselves all right first person we're gonna call to give their wisdom is of course neptune neptune is such a pivotal influence this week because we're going to tap into neptune's energy like never before this is the first time we're having a sun neptune transit with venus and mercury when jupiter's in scorpio and saturn's in capricorn so we're going to experience this in a more stabilized way that has us really tune into things what you got neptune what you got for <laughs> What? What did you say? Can you speak English, please, Neptune? Please? What I was trying to say, young peace dealer, don't look on the outside for answers look within you will find the answers you seek there this week oh wow that was incredibly and oddly insightful hmm oh but I have even more I have an interpretive song that I will play by flute sing along if you know with me Um, uh, okay, y yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's talk to Venus. Venus is next to Neptune right now. Venus can give us an idea of what our hearts are feeling very intuitively. Venus, what's up? Oh, oh, uh, hi, peace dealer. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Uh, yes, this transit for me and our hearts is gonna be really dreamy, okay? Uh, all you have to do is really go with the flow. I'm going to be working overtime like I always do in my vacation time. Uh, you're welcome to really be establishing higher contacts through higher dimensions. So you may see in dreams things form together, but really go with the flow. Once again, creatively visualize with your heart the type of relationships you want to be in, although don't think so much love and romance. You really do want to focus a lot about what are your ideals i will be giving you the opportunity this week to feel with an unconditionally loving heart it's gonna be so beautiful venus very amazing synopsis um thank you very much correct me if i'm wrong though but were you were you applying lip balm on your nails right now or was i just seeing things i know it's pisces energy and i could be hallucinating but i'm in freaking pisces peace dealer nothing makes sense over here come on good point oh my god this is so weird anyway we can't forget mercury mercury let us know what's good man what's good we're pretty good man we're gonna start the week off right with me on the sun so at least I have one good day of maximum full clarity before uh, all my cognitive function dissolves and goes down the drain. I think for the better part of the week, I'm basically going to be useless to you. If you're needing me to, you know, come up with very logical thoughts, <laughs> poor you. Other than that, though, I would really just embrace whatever knowledge and epiphanies come at the beginning of the week because you're going to need it. Other than that, you know, uh, don't be surprised if things get a little bit funky once I slip into Pisces. Mm. 
what's happening? What's going on? Oh, I kind of spiked your drink with LSD. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Drugs are bad. Okay, kids. Um, so this turned out being a horrible idea, but even though I shouldn't do this, let's, let's see what Mars is up to. Please don't be weird. Please don't be weird. Peace dealer. I feel awesome, man. I'm in Sagittarius. I feel wilder than I've ever been. We're going to do this. And then we're going to do that. And I don't know the details yet, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And then we're going to have sex because my sex drive is just higher than it's ever been. All I think about is sex every day, and I already think about sex as much as it is. Oh, my gosh, peace dealer. Then we're going to talk to magical elephants because we know they're real. I mean, I know I'm squaring all this Pisces energy, and nothing that I do is going to make anything logical sense at all any logical sense but we're gonna like talk to magical elephants and then we're gonna slay the dragons who are keeping all y'all stuck in war because the spiritual warfare is real i got thor's hammer you think these aliens are gonna fight themselves no 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 wow mars nothing you said made any logical or rational sense i don't even know what to do with what you told me <laughs> like really i don't i don't even know how to understand what you just told me so i should have known it was a bad idea anyway um well that's that's the planet synopsis for the week um it doesn't look pretty but it, it looks kind of fun i don't know i don't know um beware of the confusion and deception my friends things will not be as they seem and you will have people believing anything go tell people that sandwiches can talk to you and they'll probably believe it other than that, you know, if you're able to find someone with a critically thinking mind, hold on to them. You're going to need them through this week. I uh, hope you like this report. If you like this format, let me know in the comments below and I'll keep it. You know, Gemini, I'm always changing. So um, give me some tips in the comments, too, if you'd like to see more or less or some things. And as always, make sure you subscribe to Future Life so that you can see the weekly horoscope for each zodiac sign great news as well my website is finally up alrighty so make sure you hit that up and um up until then y'all stay blessed and until next time peace now baby i'm act like i don't care you know i you know i Like you scared You remember back shots When I was grabbing out your hair So how you really gon' act Like you don't care Flight boss Listen baby girl We be riding flights If you were chilling With your man Say goodbye tonight It ain't your birthday But I hope you like surprises right If you in the dark baby I'ma find a light Just so you can see What you been missing You can move with me We can get lifted You can prove to be My legit missus How can you believe I be dismissing